favor, but then he got witch time. Okay. I switch. <laughs> All right. Call so him out. Had a call out. Bestness is hungry for that run back. But <laughs> in the meantime, we're going to have Sutan and Rain actually coming in the loser's quarters. We're going to have Olimar versus Bane in a matchup. Um, two of the Japanese players still fighting for that W. Although we did see two American players, it's nice to see again our international brethren coming in competing the night before Evo. I'm really hoping none of these guys have an 8 a.m. pool because that'd be really unfortunate yeah. for them to have to wake up in about six hours to prep for their pool. Yeah, I've had to do that myself a couple times, and uh, it's not very fun. Yeah, um, Douglas gave me a lot of good knowledge about um, Olimar here that I didn't know about. So now I feel a lot better for going oh. into this competition. Absolutely. You know, there's not a lot of Olimar representation really internationally, so it's fantastic to see when we have someone as you know, insane as Shuton as I would say he's a character specialist for the most part. Right. Um, come in and really put up his dupes against some of the best characters and best players in the world. Mm -hmm. And I think he was ranked recently in the top 30 for the PGR. So, you know, shout-outs to him using a very underrepresented character mm -hmm. uh, in a very top heavy meta. Top heavy, heavy meta. Wow, I cannot speak. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. And I'm just <laughs> so confused by these Bayonetta combos going up top. Top-tier meta. There you go. <laughs> I got you, man. Thank you, brother. So Rain, actually, I remember back in the day he was playing Sheik, and then when Cloud came out, moved to Cloud, and I believe, you know, once Bayonetta came out, really started to perfect his Bayonetta play. Um, and he's been relatively absent from most majors. I know I know he performs very well in Japan, but I haven't seen him in the United States since I believe last Evo. I don't know okay, if he yeah. was here, actually. I believe it was here, actually. I'm, I'm mistaken, but... Either way, you know, in this situation, Rain's doing great. He's got 50%, hasn't lost a stock yet. Shoot on, he might be getting a kill. He's got a purple one. The, those purple ones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they yeah. make a noise. Full screen that is back great. There. Yeah, almost taking the stock at 110%. Unfortunately, Shoot on didn't get the oh. kill there, but did he get. Yeah, he the got a, one. two full screen back is at about 100. <laughs> oh, we'll do it for you. All right, so we got. Oh, interesting. Uh. That's a lot of percent. Yeah, look at this. 50% off, off of grab one. I love how he felt very confident and started to up B to hover and you know throw out another option to read an air dodge. Wasn't able to get it, but that's you know that's something showing they still got some swagger after the pretty rough start he had. Which time? Rain's been doing a great job with that all tournament. Like he's consistently able to read the jumps and get a bear out of it. And we see a uh, afterburner kick, witch twist, afterburner kick, up air, take the stock. Um, Rain's really showing to have uh, a proficiency in completing his maybe not overly extravagant bayonetta combos, but he's definitely getting the job done with the combos that he does have. And again, he Rain's always been a player who was never super flashy. He was just very efficient, and he's showing that once again. And he's done that in now, from what I've seen, three different games going for melee brawl to Smash Four. So, what do you think about the town and city stage select? I think it's good. One of the things that's going to be nice is that with the blue Pikmin, he's going to get a lot of that stuff going on. Good damage once again. That's 47%. Uh, and I, I like how Shutan is actually challenging Rain in the air. It's a little bit of an uncomfortable situation for most matchups. So, you know, really try to fight Bayonetta and all of her aerials and, you know, beam in the air. But Shutan shows no fear. He's really confident in his pick and play where he's spacing out his back airs, throwing out up airs, you know, and challenging Bayonetta in between her hitboxes. Really precision play and jumps up with that back air off the ledge and takes the first stock only at 42%. Yeah, that great was a great kill. Great kill for Shutan. And look, he's racking it up again. Maybe he figured something out in game one. Yeah. And Shutan, oh, great pick and placement. He's definitely dominating this game, too. I'm not sure what he really thought about this game, but he must have just really played game one for data. Yeah, he is definitely placing the Pikmin exactly the way they needed to be in multiple situations.
think he wanted the blue one there, but <laughs> he did whistled one too many times. Shocked him out of there. Let's see. There we go again. Yeah. Gets the up there. See what I mean? It's not something so crazy as we've seen someone like Mistake or Zach go for. He just says, I'm going to take you to the top, put you at 100%, heal you right there. So yeah. um, well played by Rain. And now keep in mind, guys, this is Bayonetta. So Shuton, although he's comfortably in the lead percent-wise, I mean, we've seen the dangers of getting Witch timed off stage. Wish twist. Afterburner kick. Wish uh, twist. And yeah, that's exactly that'll do it. what we we're talking about. Um, off the top, again, nothing Bread too butter. insane. Bread and butter. Yeah. And this is, you know, again, every character's got to you got to know that stuff. And it's not so much that you're right. It's not flashy, but he is continuously reading the DI of his opponents, looking where he's going, how he's coming out of the hitboxes, and then just punishing appropriately. All right, so now we're going to have Luis versus Neotono. Uh, yeah, Luis versus Neotono coming up in loser semis. So uh, we'll 